doing here? Where is here? It's all just relative, man. No, this is my building. I built it on my land. How does land belong to you, man? We all belong to the land. What? <laughs> You're killing the vibes, man. <laughs> have a seat. <laughs> what do I have to do to make you leave my property? Property is just a construct, man. I constructed this building. Let me get a puff, dude. Enjoy this, brethren. <coughs> man, that's good. Thanks. Slow down, bro. <laughs> This is the second day. <laughs> Can you guys, like, do this outside? <laughs> Chill out, bro. <laughs> take a puff, man. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna take a puff. Take, take a, a puff. puff. Just take a puff, <laughs> man. Take, take a puff, puff, man. Take puff, 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 puff. puff. <laughs> You've never taken a puff. He's never taken a puff. <clears throat> no, I, <clears throat> I've taken puffs before in college. They call me Puff Daddy. Prove it, bro. <laughs> buff, buff, bass. I love cheese puffs. Don't tell my wife, okay, guy? Why is it so smoky in here, though? That wasn't us, bro. <laughs> I think your table's on fire. <laughs> Before we get to today's video, I want to say thanks to our sponsor, Keeps. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? The best way to prevent that is to do something about it while you still have hair left. What's cool about Keeps is a licensed doctor will review your information and they will recommend a treatment plan that is right for you. And then that treatment is shipped directly to your door every three months. Also, you can message that doctor 24 seven to ask any questions, concerns like that that you have that arise during your treatment. And they have a progress tracker tool just for you. It's also a more affordable option because Keeps offers the generic versions of the FDA approved medications for hair loss. Keeps treatments can take up to four to six months or more to start seeing results. So you need to act fast because the sooner you start, the more hair you will save. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash demo ranch or click the link in the description below to receive 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash demo ranch. Thanks to Keeps for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt. I'm glad that you're here. Today, we are going to be shooting my brand new Ruger 57 at a bunch of play foam. I had never heard of play foam before, but it's exactly what you'd think. It's just foam. It's like little pieces of styrofoam, but it's stuck together. It's real sticky. And so it's very light and airy, and you can shape it into whatever you want. And it pretty much stays there. It kind of does flow. So for instance, when I put the Ruger 57 at the end over here, it'll slowly just kind of flow and shift down sort of like a liquid but still very solid like so the ruger 57 is a very interesting gun because it's sort of a copy of the got play foam stuck between my fingers very annoying sort of a copy of the fn 57 also has a very similar name see ruger 57 right there on the slide so this is chambered just like the FN57 in the 5.7 by 28 round. It looks like a rifle round, but it's teeny tiny, made to fit in a pistol mag. So it shoots a small little 5.7 millimeter round, super fast. So it's very flat shooting, much more flat shooting than a traditional pistol round, like a nine millimeter, like a 45, that kind of thing. It shoots fast and very flat. So we have a long slide on here. We have a big sight radius here. You got fiber optic up front, got a little slide cutout on the slide, which makes it look super cool and probably makes it cycle a little faster. A little tiny barrel with a tiny little opening there. And it's a pretty cool looking gun. I've actually seen these things since SHOT Show of 2020, the last SHOT Show that we actually had. Finally saw one at my local shop, picked it up, took it home. And today we are going to find out how good this thing is at shooting through play foam, as well as some other calibers. Welcome to ASMR Ranch. Okay, let's shoot some guns though. This is a 22 long rifle. 
let me show you what we did over here. We put some cardboard in the middle so that we will be able to tell how far it goes because I was like, man, we're gonna lose this thing. So we have cardboard like about every foot so we can see if it makes it through. This stuff is so lightweight that I think it's not gonna do anything, but we've been surprised before. So the only way to really know is to do it. Firing in right there. We've got a penetration there. What if the 22 just went through the entire thing? Yep, okay. <laughs> Not looking good for this video. Oh my gosh, it's freaking still going. All right, a 22 has successfully gone through all of it. No way, freaking 22 just went out the back of this thing. Do you have any idea how much this costs to get this much play foam? Okay, well, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, we will catch you next time on stupid demolition ranch videos that don't actually work. <laughs> so this is a FN57, which is the gun that this one is completely copying. This is the Ruger 57. So about the same size. You can see they both kind of have this elongated magwell there because that round that they shoot is very long, which we have some of those. That is a 5.7. So it looks kind of like a scaled down 5.56, which is the bullet they shoot out of an AR-15. So they both shoot that round. Uh, pretty similar, both in length, in width, in height. They are the same gun, basically. This thing's got a little bit longer slide, and it's a little bit skinnier overall than this thing. I love this gun, super fun to shoot. Doesn't kick much, even though it shoots this really powerful round. Shoots a big fireball out usually. It's fun to shoot. So uh, overall, they're pretty much exactly the same. This one has four switches on the side of it, which seems a little excessive. This one has, I guess, also four. Uh, we're gonna load her up and see how she fires. Woo, okay, I've never shot this gun. Got some plate foam on it. Uh, let's just take a few practice shots. Oh, that trigger's weird. All right, I like it, no kick. Dang it. I cannot get used to this trigger. I got that one, it's flopping. Okay, uh, might as well just empty this mag. I'm gonna load it back up and shoot the plate. Play it's not gonna do anything, but we're gonna try it. I have an idea. What if we shoot the FN57 against the Ruger 57? So I'm gonna shoot one on the left. So this actually has a hole in it already from the 22. So that this piece of cardboard has one hole. This one has none holes, so we're gonna put those in the play foam right in the middle and then we'll shoot a FN57 at the left side, Ruger 57 at the right. Compare the differences. This is the first time we've shot the play foam with this round, so we'll kind of see what happens here. FN. Okay, uneventful. And the Ruger, right side. Kind of threw some stuff a little more. All right, so now, come over here. No new holes, okay. Very interesting. And no oh, look at that. Straight through. So it's probably longer barrel to really get that bullet cycling, which also, this one has better ergonomics, so you probably have a little more pressure forward, so it'll fling that bullet out a little faster. And I think the rifling in this one is a little bit superior to this one, so it probably sort of acts like a corkscrew as it comes through here. The physics, I mean, you just gotta think about the physics. It's gonna corkscrew and kind of pull itself through here, sort of like a rocket self-propelling it through this. Or, it could be that there's a cinder block in this site. Yep, there it is. Hit the cinder block right there, actually went through it. Where did it go? We can find that bullet. Yeah, uh, it turns out it was just a cinder block that stopped it on the side. Science. Let's get the Barrett. Some videos on YouTube you, you put up and they just don't get a lot of views. And you're looking at one of them right now. Just like, just a big fail. That's a Barrett M82A1. 
uh, with the barrel sunk into the play foam. And the reason is we know the play foam is not going to stop a bullet. So I just thought, well, I kind of want to see, since this stuff's so light, what happens when we blast it with the muzzle blast. That muzzle blast hurts. If you're standing right here and someone shoots a barrel, you get popped with it. So let's see if the play foam also gets popped with it. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. 50 cal, buried in there. We're chambered. We have this cable hooked to the trigger. We're going to step back and blow it. The barrel goes to about dead center right here and it kind of kicks some of that gas backwards. So there's going to be gas coming out the front because the bullet's going that way. There's going to be gas coming out the sides and then a little bit going out the back. So this whole thing could clear or it could do nothing. We're trying to do something else that might be fun because this stuff's not good stuff in bullets. Not at all. Fire in the hole. Okay, let's see what we got here. Actually, uh, another huge letdown. I think this stuff sticks together so well, it just didn't go anywhere. I mean, all the chunks you see, they're big chunks mostly. And this blasted out a big hole here. This was a big hole, it looks like this thing fell down. So that blasted out a big hole there and there and there. But most of it stayed in the same place. This is warm. Okay, so anyway, moral of the story, play foam, pretty fun. Terrible target. Terrible, terrible thing for demolition ranch to shoot. Oh, my money's on the big one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I meant the long, the longer one, not the big. The, yeah, yeah. There we go. Come on, come on. You got this. You got this. Get it, get it, get it. Hit one. Hit one. Hit just one. Oh, stay there. Great gun. Terrible video. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell mayor.